I have to to talk about facts because I think it's important. I think that they are they are nervous because we are at the top of the table. So I want to be clear that they, I don't want to play mind games too early. I think that they want to start. So I was taking some facts and then it will be easy to talk about this. November 1st, they play against Hull City and Mr. Ferguson, the manager, was uh, too much uh, touchline banned and fined with £10,000 after confronting Mike Dean, the referee, for improper conduct. We started the respect campaign and we started with the sending off of Mascherano in Old Trafford for Mr. Bennett. That was the referee uh, that uh, when they play against uh, Wigan, couldn't see the handball of uh, Ferdinand. He didn't give a penalty and they won the game and they won the title in this game. I think it's the same referee that will be in the game that they, they have in hand against Wigan. During the respect campaign, Mr. Ferguson, and it's a fact, he was targeted uh, for the FA with improper conduct after comments made against Martin Atkinson and Kit Hackett, Martin Atkinson, the referee. He was not punished. He's the only manager in the league, in the English league, that cannot be punished for these things. After he was talking about the features, two years ago we were playing a lot of early kickoffs on Saturday morning away, <coughs> while United was playing on Sunday and nobody was saying anything. Now he's complaining about everything, everybody's against United. The second half of the league, they will play at home against all the teams at the top of the table. So I think it's a fantastic advantage. But in Christmas time, I don't know why, United play the 29th instead of the 28th as the rest of the teams at home. And we will play away against Newcastle after to play against Bolton, 42, 44 hours. So he was not complaining this day. He was not thinking about this. About his uh, mm, behaviour with the referees, the Southampton manager, Jan Portpilliet, he knows how Mr. Ferguson works and he was very clear the other day. And it's a fact. I am not playing mind games. I am talking about facts. If he wants to talk about uh, the features, and we want to be in, a, in the same position, level playing field, as you say, in England. There are two options, very clear, if we don't want more uh, problems with the features. One is uh, the same as in Spain. They draw the first part of the league, uh, all the teams they will know. I will play against this one, this weekend or the other weekend, and the second half of the league will be the opposite. If you play at home, you will play away. Everybody will know. And after Sky and after Setanta, they have the rights, and they will choose the game. Okay, we'll play on Wednesday, or sorry, on Saturday, we'll play on Sunday, and they will choose the games, and it will be the same for everyone. So Mr. Ferguson will not be complaining about the futures and a campaign against uh, United. Or maybe the other option will be Mr. Ferguson organizing the futures and everything in his office and sending to us, and everybody will know, and then nobody can complain. So, simple. So, talking about football, because I want to finish with uh, this and the mind games. We know what happened every time when we go to Old Trafford and Mr. Uh, Escolari, he needs to know maybe to use the sonal marking against uh, the staff of United because they are always doing man-to-man -man with the referees when they go to the bench and especially in the half time when they were walking close to the referees and talking and talking and talking. So. For all the managers, they need to know. Only Mr. Ferguson can talk about the features, can talk about the referees, can talk about all these things, and nothing happened. So I think that uh, we need to know that I am talking about facts. I am not talking about my impression, things that everybody can see every single week. <laughs>